Hello and welcome to Sprucam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to um, define a radius cutter and also a slitting saw and or um, keyway slot saw and uh, running them in Sprucam. So the first thing we got to do is have some sort of material to cut. So I'm going to go to 2G Geometry and click on Top View. And I'm going to pick the circle. And I want it to have a radius of 3 inches. Enter. Alright. I'll zoom in on that a bit. Now we're going to go to our machine tab and with the Tormach logo highlighted we'll click on the workpiece and we're going to extrude that curve we'll add that close so now what we want to do is double click on that and we want the maximum value to be zero and the minimum value to be one inch. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Negative one inch. All right. Now we're gonna. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 2D contour using this contour, and we're gonna make that radius cutter. So we're gonna pick finishing 2D contouring. I'm gonna double click on that and pick our tool and what we want to use is a mill with a negative radius that's what they call it here in Sprucam it's a little weird but oh well and we'll call this a 0.125 radius cutter we're going to make the length one inch long we're going to make the diameter a half an inch, and our radius is going to be an eighth of an inch. Now we'll go to feeds and speeds. Uh, we can make that 40. Now, bear in mind when you are using a radius cutter, it counts as a form cutter, so you definitely want to go slower with it than you would um, a regular end mill. Lead in, lead out. We'll give it a safe level. 0.05. Parameters. Now we want the safe plane is fine. Our top level is fine. Our bottom level, we're going to want to cut just shy of the full radius. So we're going to want it to go down one negative point one two. Three would probably be fine. We're doing it one. I'll just go around once. Okay, now we're going to pick our job assignment, click on that curve, and add that curve. Now we'll click run. Well, that would be if we wanted the center of the cutter to come right down, that'd be a really deep cut. So we're going to have to apply an offset here, and that's the wrong way. So we'll double click slowly on this icon and then click this icon. Now you can see it moves it away. Well, let's see what this looks like. We're going to have to do something else, but let's just see what it looks like right now. So we'll run it. Play. Here comes our radius cutter. So 
it's not actually touching anything. And the reason why it's not touching anything is because it thinks it's cutting half the diameter of a half an inch, which is too close. So we actually need to bring it in with a stock value. So we'll go to machining, we'll double click on 2D contouring, go to parameters and put in a stock value of negative 0.123 just like we did before. Click on that. We'll run that. Let's go to simulation. Now we'll play it. So the tool come down. And as you can see, it leaves a very nice eighth inch radius all the way around. Now if you were, you can creep up on this and you can change your um, dimensions so that you can get the best overall radius. Um, this is just a good starting point. Now I'll show you how to make the slitting saw. So we will go back into machining then we'll add a finishing 2D contouring again. We'll double click on there. And we're going to make our tool and we're going to use a regular cylindrical mill. We're going to make our diameter 1 inch. We're going to make our length 0.125 so that'll be the actual width of the, the cutter. Now we've got to add a holder to it. So we're going to start with half an inch and a colon and make that a zero depth. Another colon and we'll do another half an inch. And we'll make the depth of that one inch. So now we have a one inch tall half inch diameter stem on our cutter. So we'll go to feeds and speeds. I'm not going to worry about that. Lead in, lead out is very important on um, slitting saws because you can't just come straight down into the cut or you'll mess up the cut. You need to come down and then move into the cut. So we will go and do a normal approach path of 0.7 because we want to be bigger than the radius and a normal retraction path of the same amount, 0.7. Now our parameters are going to be uh, we're going to put it down, let's see, let's make the top level negative 0.5 and it's a uh, eighth of an inch thick, so we'll make our bottom level negative 0.625. We'll take that in one cut, that stock value on there, we'll click OK, we'll run that, oh, well we have to pick our our curve, so we'll pick our curve and click run. Now that's not going to cut quite right, so we're going to have to adjust the offset so it looks like that. And we will run it again. That looks good. We'll hit simulation. And the cutter is going to come down, and it only just barely touches the surface. It wouldn't actually really touch the surface. So the problem is that we need to add a, a negative stock value for the depth of the cut we want to take. Now you may have to take this in more than one cut and that would actually require you to make more than one of these 2D contouring. You can cut them and paste them and you could take them in a series of cuts. Um, but we're just going to do this in one cut. So we'll go back to our machining tab and to highlight this a little bit better we're going to change the color of this path. So we're going to go and highlight it, click, right click on there, hit properties, double click on the color, and we're going to pick pink. All right. So we'll be done with that. Now we'll double click on 2D contouring, and we're going to add a stock value of negative 0.125. So we want an eighth inch slot. So now we'll run it again. Go to the simulation tab, regenerate everything and click run. Oh, it didn't take the pink. Let's uh, stop that. Go back. Go to properties. Double click. Pink. Okay. Okay. There we go. 
So now we'll go back to simulation, regenerate it, and run it. Now you see it pink comes down, and you can see that nice eighth inch cut all the way down through there. It looks pretty good. So that has been how to define and use a radius cutter and a slot cutter. I hope you enjoyed it.